Hello, I'm a panda with a knife, and I will be voicing this episode of the ongoing anti-cheat review series. I am a YouTuber and have my own channel. Please note, I am reading from a script. Anything I state in this video are not my written words. Without further ado, let's get into the review. In this episode of the anti-cheat review series, I will be covering Intave as it's the anti-cheat that I've seen bullied so much without much reasoning behind it. Some topics that I will be talking about are false positives, bypasses, some ways that the anti-cheat excels over the competition, ways that the anti-cheat can improve, and alternatives in case this isn't what you're looking for. I will also include a little bit of history and what Intave includes, so you can get a better understanding of who is buying Intave and why. I would also like to point out that my experience can and will be different from yours, so keep that in mind while watching. Without any further ado, I welcome you to this episode of the Anti-Cheat Review Series. For those of you that are unaware, Intave is an anti-cheat currently developed by Richie, Dark and Blue, Bento, and It's Lucky. It costs 50 euros and is available on intave.de. Intave has many checks, however, it's similar to AAC, whereas the checks are joined in a verbose meaning that instead of a check like Motion A or Fly A, you get something like Move or Reach. There are checks like Physics and Timer, which make sure that the client is moving correctly with regards to what you can do in vanilla. There are also checks like Attack Ray Trace, Interaction Ray Trace, Analysis, and Hurt Statistics, which all work together to make sure that the client is looking and interacting correctly. A little bit of history into Intave is that their customers on the website tend to go from older versions of AAC to Intave. Also, a lot of people that test Intave, usually doing it on servers with Intave 13 instead of 14. I and another person that were testing on Intave were able to find a couple of falses on the test server. These include closing a trap door on yourself and moving or having velocity be applied to you in general. I was also given a cookie by Richie, which increased my speed and helped me find this false that happens while strafing and changing your hotbar slot. I also found out that Intave is not a fan of knockback sticks due to their customers pushing them to make a sensitive vertical and horizontal velocity checks. There were a couple of other falses, but those were mostly because I was hitting someone that had a low trust factor, meaning that Intave was far more sensitive. Bypassing on the latest version of Intave, with the default config was one of the hardest things I have done. I had to make sure that I didn't hit outside the player's hitbox and move correctly. I naturally chose to follow GCD with Ara, as I assumed that Intave had a GCD check. I also had to use Lockview Ara with Keeps Rent Off, making Intave the first anti-sheet I've reviewed that I've had to use a Lockview Ara. There was also one other bypass I was able to find, but it only offered a slight advantage. I was able to use Vanilla No Slow and Bows, but not with consumable or swords, as it blocked you server sided, making it useless. I also had a velocity, but it barely seemed to affect how much velocity it took, so I won't go into any more detail. There are quite a few things that most people seem to overlook when they see Intape for the first time. For one, their reach check is very well done and was able to detect 3.01 blocks quite quickly. They also seem to be able to detect any hitbox expansion or hits through blocks. Intave's timer check is also very well done, and was able to detect a timer balance abuse speed that I use on nearly any anti-cheat that's giving me trouble with speed. The velocity checks are also pretty well done, albeit they can occasionally false flag if you're doing something weird. The Aura checks are also done well, as I stated earlier, that I had to use lock view to bypass. The last thing I want to talk about is that Intave has a trust factor system. This means the more someone flags, the more sensitive Intave is going to be with the checks for that player. I only have two suggestions for the developers of Intave to think about. One of them being that the autoblock checks take far too long to flag, even when I was using an autoblock that could be detected first hit. However, this might be kind of a useless addition as Intave cancels all damage resistance when it detects a block as non-legitimate. Another thing is that Intave itself is a bit too sensitive, and a slight adjustment of the values would mean that it would detect less, but it would only make bypasses that aren't noticeable in the first place possible. 
One alternate that I can give instead of Intave is Sparky. They're both equally powerful anti-cheats with their own separate pros and cons, so I would highly recommend testing them both and making your own judgment based on your testing. That's it for my review on Intave. Be sure to leave suggestions in the comments for what you want me to review next. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Thank you.